Hello everyone. Welcome to Kaviation Engineering YouTube channel. So uh, today I took the lesson number four uh, regarding AT chapter 22 auto flight system. All right. So uh, if you still not subscribe my YouTube channel, uh, please subscribe my YouTube channel and also please share my videos and uh, the previous videos also with your friends, relatives and the friends who want to learn about aircraft maintenance. All right. So if you are a newcomer to my YouTube channel, I'm Keshara I am a professional aircraft maintenance technician. All right, so no need to take the time. So we will go to the lesson. All right. Okay, so today I am going to uh, talk about AT Chapter 22 Auto Flight System General Lesson Number Four Auto Pilot. All right. All right. So in this lesson, you will learn basic roles and functions of the autopilot. So you can see this is the other systems and the uh, flight management guardians computer one and two and this is the autopilot system one autopilot system two right so this is the pfd and this is the fact flight augmentation computer one and two and elect one and two set one two three and uh, uh, brake steering computer unit all right so the autopilot system engage from the flight control unit by the related push button okay you can see the related push button autopilot one autopilot two all right so this is the auto flight system control panel so autopilot ap engagement is indicated by the illumination of the autopilot ap1 push button o and ap2 push button it means three green bars you can see the three green bars and by the white ap1 and AP2 or AP1 plus 2 indications on the top right of each primary flight display unit. Okay, you can see like this. The autopilot gu uh, guidance mode are selected from the flight control unit FCU or the flight management and guidance computer, right? FMGCS, right? Okay, now let's uh, see uh, the autopilot function is a loop where after a comparison between real and reference parameters the fmgc all right so computes orders which are sent to the flight controls and the loop is closed by real values coming from sensors and given by other system example adirs to the fmgcs all right you can see the autopilot the 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 informations come to the flight management guidance computer guidance computer one or two and then it is delivered to the uh, flight augmentation computer and it is go to the radar controls and elac for the elevator and aliens uh, controls and the sec and spoiler and elevator controls over there and bsu brake steering control unit right you can see and the other systems uh the feedback will become the other system and they also go to the flight management guidance computers all right Okay, the next one when the fly autopilot is engaged, when the autopilot is engaged, the load thresholds on the rudder pedals, load thresholds on the rudder pedals and the size sticks are increased. Right? So, if a load, uh, if, if a pedal or size stick load threshold is overridden, okay, overridden, the autopilot disengages. Remember it. All right you can see the flight manager uh, the load load threshold will be if if the autopilot is engaged right if the autopilot is engaged then uh the, the for the side sticks and the rudder pedals the load thresholds will be increased right so then if a pedal or side stick load threshold is over it then the load uh, appeared here then the autopilot will be disengages right okay now the second one is modes modes right okay so there are lateral modes and vertical modes basically one of each is chosen by the pilot or by the system remember there are two modes lateral modes and vertical modes right so the autopilot being engaged one lateral mode and one vertical modes are simultaneously active all right so according to the flight phases the lateral mode controls the ailerons we are the elevator aileron computer elac and the spoilers we are the elac and the spoiler elevator computer sec and the rudder we are the flight augmentation computers and the nose wheel we are nose wheel we are the elac and the braking steering control unit okay braking steering control unit 
So the vertical mode, this is the lateral mode, right? So the vertical mode controls and the elevator and the trimmable horizontal stabilizer via the elax, right? The vertical mode controls the elevator and the trimmable horizontal stabilizer via the elax, right? Okay. So now the ground, ground. So uh, for maintenance purposes, for the maintenance purposes, the autopilot can be engaged on the ground with both engines shut down. Remember, for maintenance purposes, the autopilot can be engaged on ground with both engines shut down. So hydraulic power is not required. Hydraulic power is not required. When an engine is started, the autopilot disengages, right? Okay. So now the next one, take off. Take off, the autopilot can be engaged in flight provided the aircraft has been airborne for at least five seconds, right? Remember, the autopilot can be engaged in flight provided the aircraft has been airborne for at least five seconds, right? And now the cruise, in cruise, in cruise only one autopilot can be in, in cruise only, one autopilot can be engaged at a time priority given to the last engage. Engage in the second autopilot, disengage in the first one. Remember, in cruise, only one autopilot can be engaged uh, at a time priority given to the last engage. And when you engage the second autopilot, then the, uh, the first one will be disengaged. The aileron and the spoilers execute the orders of lateral modes and the elevators and the THS executes the orders of vertical modes. Remember, lateral modes will be executed by the ailerons and the spoilers and the vertical modes will be executed by the elevators and the THS. So note, the rider is controlled not by the autopilot but directly by the facts. Remember, rider is controlled not by the autopilot but directly by the flight augmentation computer. Right? Okay, now the landing. The landing modes, uh, if the airfield is equipped with ILS, instruments landing system installation. The autopilot can perform, perform a complete landing with approach, flare and rollout. Okay. So a second autopilot can be engaged, AP1 active, AP2 is in standby. Right. So uh, not the rudder is controlled by the autopilot via the facts. All right. Okay. In the landing, the BSCU is not in use. Right. All right, uh, so during the rollout, during the rollout of the autopilot to the uh, give steering orders, right? During rollout of the autopilot to give steering orders to the rudder and the nose wheel, these orders depend on the aircraft speed. And remember, in this time, BSCU will be used, right? During the rollout of the autopilot to give steering orders to the rudder and the nose wheel, these orders, uh, these orders depend on the aircraft speed. Right. So, earlier and the spoilers autopilot orders are null. Remember, earlier and spoilers autopilot orders are null, and the THS is reset to 0.5 nose up, and not the spoilers are directly controlled by the SEC as air brake. All right. So, during rollout at low speed, about 60 knots, the pilot normally disengages the autopilot by pressing take or push button located on the side stick. Okay, in the side stick, there is a take or push button. When you press the take or push button, then uh, the autopilot will be disengaged. All right. Okay, so you can see the take or push button over there. All right. Okay. Okay, so that is the end uh, of this lesson. Okay, let's go to the question and answers. Um, okay. The first answer is, the first question is, in cruise, the autopilot lateral mode orders are executed by, uh, the answers are A, the ailerons and the rudder, and B, the ailerons and the spoilers, C, the spoilers and the rudder. Okay, can you, uh, uh, I will give a few seconds to think, can you just think about the answer? All right, so the answer is answer B, the ailerons and the spoilers, all right? Okay, the next question is, the nose wheel can be controlled by the autopilot. Answers are on ground during takeoff, on ground during landing, on ground during takeoff and landing. Which is, what is the answer, right? Can you think?
All right. The answer is answer B on ground during landing. Remember, the nose wheel can be controlled by the autopilot only on the ground during landing. All right. Okay. That is the end of this lesson. Thank you for participating this lesson. This is uh, the lesson number four uh, regarding AT chapter 22. So the next lesson uh, I will going to teach you. I mean, you will going to learn about uh, flight directors. It is also very important uh, under AT chapter 22 autopilot. So uh, if you still not subscribe my YouTube channel, Kaviation Engineering, please subscribe and share these videos with your friends, relatives and your friend, uh, your, someone who like to learn about aircraft maintenance. So if you have any questions regarding uh, this lesson, please comment below. Then I will try to answer for you as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, that's all for you. And uh, we will meet on next lesson. Have a good day for all of you.